Running Facebook ads and making sure they perform every day is difficult enough. Furthermore, you have to stay on top of all of Facebook's regulations, changes and constantly adding new layers. If we take a step back, how do you even get started and what are the requirements? Today's product showcase is Scalify a platform that can help you get started with your Facebook ads in minutes. With Scalify, you can scale your Facebook ads without having to spend extra amount of time per ads you do. So without further ado, let's jump into Scalify and let me show you how you set up your Facebook ads. Moving into the platform in Scalify, we have our overview, launch, retarget, analyze, automate and scale. Over here in our overview, we have some different types of elements. We can of course see our analytics over here where we see the amount we have spent in the period chosen. We can see how many orders we received, the revenue, estimated profit, and then of course we can go to our analyze tab over here where we can see more extensive information such as how many sessions has been, what is the total revenue, estimated profit, our campaigns here, if we do want to only see information about a specific campaign, we can see sessions by country and so much more in here. Do remember to choose the period up here to really see how they are performing. So for instance, if I choose up here the entire year, we can see that the estimated profit has been a minus right here. That is correct because I've not been earning money on Facebook ads. But over here we can see that I've spent 400 Danish kroners on Facebook ads. I have received some sessions, no revenue, and then we can see my different types of campaigns down here. And if I do click out my campaign of missing letter, in this case, we can see my ad groups under and so on. So that is the analyze tab. We can also move on to the campaign analysis tab here, where it is that we can see information about a specific campaign. So for instance, let's take closest copy here and analyze this campaign. So what we can see is more or less the same as before. I will just go up here and choose again the period. It would be a help if it kept the period throughout the entire platform, but for now it's just fine. Here we can see some audience split testing results, creative split testing results. We can enable automation if we do want to, because then Scalify will pick an automation strategy that will really make our campaigns perform the best possible. Furthermore, we have some delivery summary down here that's empty right now. But here we can see some ad spend, reach, CPM, ROAS, conversions, and so on. Moving on to the compare metrics here. In here we can compare two campaigns to see which one has performed the best. So I'll just choose Writer Send here, choose All Ad Sets, and then I'll choose Closest Copy, again All Ad Sets. I'll go up here and then I'll change the period again of time to the entire year. And then we can see here that so far, WriterSend is winning all of it because Closest Copy has zero in everything. However, this is just a great way to see that if you've done something different on campaign one than campaign two and campaign one is winning, then maybe you should continue doing what you did on campaign one. But let's go back to the launch tab here where it is that we can set up our first marketing campaign in Facebook. What I will do is that I will choose retargeting. And in here, retargeting is usually for web shops. We can choose classic retargeting or dynamic retargeting. And retargeting is basically for those of you who doesn't know it. It is when you have visited a website and looked at a specific product, then Facebook will send you ads for that product saying, hey, shouldn't you come back and check out the product? Of course, only if they have Facebook retargeting and they're running it. But for now, I'll just do classic retargeting. I'll say launch ads. Now in here is where we set up the campaign and this is similar for all the types of campaigns. Of course, there are some elements that varies, but for all of the campaigns, we can choose to create an offer for the specific campaign or we can skip that and go straight to the campaign where it is that we can choose an existing campaign or set up a new campaign. For now, I'll just choose a new campaign and say that it needs to be focused on traffic. Over here, we'll just call this campaign YouTube video and then I'll press next. Now here's where we need to set up the ad set. In here we set the daily budget, if it needs to start at a specific time and if it needs to end. Let's say you're running a test and you only want to spend a certain amount of money, then you can set in here the amount of money you want on a daily budget and maybe a week to see how it's performing within a week. Furthermore, over here in retargeting, 
we can choose what it is it needs to be variating on. It could be website visitors. Let's say they just need to visit your website. And then you want to target them with ads. This is possible here. You can also be with video watchers. Let's say that you have seen a specific video. Then I want to target you with some specific ads. That is also possible. Furthermore, with Facebook page engagement, Instagram profile engagement and retarget existing audiences. I will just say website visitors and all website visitors for now. In here, we need to choose the pixel that is pulled from our Facebook account. And then of course, we need to choose how many days it has to be before they need to see the ads. So here we're saying that between zero and 30 days, then they need to receive the ads. And this is the days since they visited our website. For now, I'll just press next. For the locations here, we'll just keep it worldwide and then we'll move on to age and gender. So now we're starting on our target group. And in here, we can, of course, we can say how many years approximately they need to be in between. And we can choose the gender if we do want to. We can also set a split right here in a couple of years if we do want to that as well. But for now, I'll just press generate and then we'll move on to placements because the placement is where your ad is going to be. Automatic placement is often the best because then Facebook will, based on the data that they have, place the ad, the place that they find it, it will convert the best. And the last tab down here is optimization, where it is we need to choose what this ad needs to be optimized for. And of course, in my case here, it is link clicks. But however, down here, we'll choose what we will get charged for, whether it's impressions or link clicks. Of course, if you do choose link clicks, it will be a bit more. But that's about the ad sets. Now moving on to the ad creative. This is our specific ads that our visitors will see. So what we'll do in here and what I'll also recommend you is to make multiple ads for Facebook to see what ad will perform the best. So I have just added three different types of ads here. It is very simple. And if you do want to, you can create templates up here so you can easily use your ads across your different type of campaigns. You can also add emojis here. Of course, that is also via your keyboard. But now moving on to the next phase is media. Here is the media that I've already used on my Facebook ads that I can choose to use again. I'll just choose these three top ones here and then I'll move on to the next one. Otherwise, you can, of course, upload right here. Now moving on to the URLs, this is the URL we want them to land on when they click on the ad. I will just write in my website and then I'll press next. Now we need to set up our call to action button. What does it need to say on the ad that we are about to create? And for now, I'll just say learn more. It is very simple. We can again A-B test. So let's say it should also be called subscribe and watch more. So these three I will keep and then go to the next one where it is that we need to add some description. Here I will say headline, we'll just call this one headline one, description one, and headline two, description two. This is again for A-B testing. Now we have our entire setup and we can now see our different ads here. You can see that there are a lot of different ads and that's because it's A-B testing everything. So what we'll do now is we'll press next here and then we'll review everything to make sure that we have chosen the right elements and everything looks good here. So I'll press next and we are now ready to launch it. We can choose here two methods to run our campaigns. We can either choose the first one where all ads are inside each ad set or we can choose that each ad is inside a separate ad set. This really depends on how you want to spend your budget because the first one, which is the recommended one, lets Facebook algorithm determine which ad should receive more impressions based on the data that they already have. Whereas over here, it is a bit more manual. But other than that, everything is ready and we can now press launch. Now, the second last thing I want to show you is automations within Scalify because you can set up a lot of automations to make your campaigns perform better. So for instance, here we can say create new automation and you can either choose to do it yourself or choose from the library. For now, I'll just choose from the library and I want to increase campaigns budget, use strategy, and then I will say load strategy here. And we now have the automation ready right here. And what this automation will do is that it will increase the campaign's budget one time per day if the cost per purchase in the last three days, including today, is low enough. And that is, of course, the number we set just before. And this is a great way to really run a lot of campaigns and maintaining them, optimizing them without having to spend hours and hours every single day.
But here we can see the actions and conditions saying that the budget needs to be increased by 20% though maximum budget is 20 and that will only happen if the campaign total purchases in the last three days including today is greater than three and the second one here is if it's less than 20 kronas so these two needs to be fulfilled in order for the campaign budget to be increased i will now press next and here you can see how often we need to run this automation of course if you have a website with a lot of traffic you need to run it often Otherwise, one or twice a day should be more than enough, especially because it looks three days back. So it will only do it one time per day. So maybe just one time per day is great. You can also choose to receive notifications. This is just to make sure that everything is running as it should and you will be notified that the budget has been increased. And the last step here is, as we just saw before, where we just review everything to make sure that everything is correct. And when we do approve everything, we can create the automation. Now the strategies I just shown you are also over here in the library for you just to scroll through. They have a lot of different types of automations that you can choose between and they are constantly adding more. Now the last tab I want to show you is the scale tab. This is where you can easily scale your marketing setup without having to put in an enormous effort. For now, I'll just show you a simple scaling campaign right here. This is just like we saw it before. We can set up an offer if we do want to. I will skip this one. And then we can say whether we want to choose an existing campaign or a new campaign. For now, I'll choose an existing campaign, missing letter right here, and press next. Now we get again the choice whether we want to use existing ad sets or new ad sets. Again, choosing the existing ones. And then we have to choose which ones we want. We want, of course, all of them. Then next. Now in here in our ad creative is where we need to create the ads that we want to show. Again, I will choose add existing creatives and I'll choose my page right here. And right now I don't have any page posts. So I need to create some creatives in here. So I will go back and you can see the one we entered just before are still here. So I will reuse those with the same images, URL, the CTAs we have to choose again. I'll just choose some right here. The description is already entered and then we're ready to create. Now we'll move on to the review. And in here, you can see that we have now everything ready. There are no posts, however, but there are ads, campaigns, and ad setup. Even though it looks a little bit strange because I just set up my ad creatives, but it says total zero and zero ad sets. So there must be a little bit bug here, but everything looks fine here. The budget is fine. The bid strategy is lowest cost. However, the campaign budget optimization is on and the campaign name objective spending limit is fine. I will now press next. And again, the last step is where we need to choose how the budget needs to be spent as we just saw before. And this is an easy way to simple scale up your entire setup. You can also bulk scale if you do want to. Let's say you have a lot of ads you want to scale up. This is also possible in here. Taking a look at the pricing structure of Scaleify, they have simplified it down to it depends on your budget. The more you spend on Facebook ads, the higher the price of your Scaleify subscription will be. They do have a free trial that you can use to see whether Scaleify is for you or not. The competitor to Scaleify is Edunit, which I've already reviewed. Edunit has an AI module, which Scaleify does not have. Furthermore, Edunit also have Google Ads integration. These two elements I would love to see within Scaleify because Scaleify do offer a lot more types of ads and campaigns that Edunit does not. So it really depends on your need. If you have a niche need and you can go on with just doing your standard campaigns on Facebook, then you should take a look at Edunit because they can really help you with your target group. Whereas if you need to A-B test and run a lot of campaigns, then Scaleify is for you. Moving on to the future of Scaleify, they are of course working on improving their ads manager and doing better and extensive campaign analytics, which we can use to see whether a campaign is performing or not, because it is so expensive on Facebook to run a campaign that's just not performing. Furthermore, they're adding more campaign types like Messenger, app installs, and many more. Combining that with the languages they are also working on, we will be able to soon run a lot of more types of campaigns. They are also working on integrations with Scaleify so we can easily take our leads or our data and move to another program to really utilize it to see what we can improve that Scaleify is not telling us. 
They are working on integrations to MailChimp, Hyrus, HubSpot and many more. The thing I'm most excited about is their Google Ads integration that they are working on at the moment. When they also add Google Ads, we will be able to run our entire marketing setup within Scalify and really scale it up without having to spend an enormous amount of time maintaining it. I do hope to see TikTok ads in the future. This is something Ad You Need is working on and TikTok is really still blowing up. Moving on to the target group of Scalify, it is of course marketeers and bigger companies who are looking for a software that can help them scale up their entire setup. For now it is only Facebook ads, but in the future they will add Google ads so you can scale up your entire marketing setup. Moving on to the pros and cons of Scalify, starting with the pros. It is easy to use and the design is great. I can keep an overview of running 100 different types of campaigns. The cons however are, I'm missing a layer to help me better pick out my target group and I'm missing Google Ads which they're already working on. Using Scalify you can easily scale up your ad setup without losing the overview. With Scalify's powerful platform you can A-B test your campaigns and run hundreds of campaigns while still keeping the overview and making sure that you profit from it. Overall, I will give Scalify three and a half stars. The design is great and easy to use. It really works and it's easy to set up campaigns. However, I do need to see elements like Ad You Need has, where they have added an AI module to really help me set up my campaigns and making sure that they are targeted the right people. But yeah, that is my review of Scalify. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Scalify or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.